Hello and welcome back to SAP S4HANA Asset Management Training. We are going to continue exploring the apps that fall under the Technical Object Group. In this case, we are going to look at the Find Technical Object app. Now go ahead and click on that, and that gets me to the Technical Object screen. And over here, I have several fields that I need to populate. And I don't have all the data for these fields. So one of the data points that I have, since I know where this technical asset or technical object belongs to, is the maintenance plant. So I go ahead and populate that there. The other data point that I have is the superior technical object. This is the technical object that is higher in the, the hierarchy structure. So I'll go ahead and put that data there. If you have additional data for the other fields, it's always good to populate because it gives you a more targeted search results. So since I only have two data points, I'll go ahead and execute that. And now I have a list of technical objects, about four of them. And I can see the first one is the hydraulic pump, and this is what I am interested in. But if you scroll down, you'll see additional technical objects. All those, uh, we're not going to work with those. I'll go back to my hydraulic pump, select it, and then go to Asset Viewer. So in this case, I want to see additional information about this asset. So I go ahead and click on that. And now the screen that I get is the Asset Viewer Technical Object. So over here, I have a lot of information. So I have the General Data tab selected. I have the Basic Data section about the type of equipment, the status, and then the long description. Then I have several tabs there like order, notification, task list, operations, and all that. Then towards the bottom of this screen, I have additional information on reference data, manufacturer data, location data. All that is data that should be populated. So if I need additional tabs or I want to personalize the view that I'm seeing here, I can go to this screen the personalized views and I can select the view that I'm looking to add to my asset viewer. So that is how we use that app, the Phi Technical Object app. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.